Hi, it's Hogan Brown from Loon Outdoors, and I'm going to show you how to tie one of the few Euro flies that I can actually catch fish on, being not proficient at that style of fishing. Uh, probably a late adapter to uh, what we would call the Euro nymphing, but um, one thing I can do is I can come up with flies that are maybe a little bit different than the other people out there I'm fishing with. Uh, or uh, people out there on the water and maybe give myself a little bit of an edge. So this is a fly I call the depth charge. And again, not super original type of name, but it's what I refer to it as. And it's basically built off of a uh, bird's nest from Al Bird. And pretty simple, got a couple different materials in it, a couple different things. Uh, again, like all my flies, lots of variables that you can change, hot spots, leg colors, body colors, whatnot. And I, I'm going to show you as I tie it kind of a simple way to do clean soft tackles that I uh, have kind of developed or come up with on my own. And uh, hopefully it'll make tying your soft tackles a little easier and hopefully they'll come out looking a little better. So the first part of this fly, just a basic straight shank uh, jig hook. You pick which one you want. Uh, and a teardrop tungsten copper bead. This is not your standard slotted bead. This is a teardrop bead, which I'd like to secure with a few thread wraps and kind of a little bit of a few circular wraps just to secure it in. Keeps it straight. I'm sure that thread will break the first fish that eats it and it'll get spun, but intentions. Okay. And then I work that thread back, give it a pretty simple tail. One of my favorite tailing materials is just wood duck gold mallard flank. Okay. Take a small feather, find kind of the nicest tips, set it right on top. Poke it out. And one thing I do with this is I will tie that entire stem to the hook shank. It's going to help kind of create a taper, I think, and just doesn't create a big lump right there that you got to make up for in dubbing when you're trying to taper that fly. Next, I'm going to tie in my rib. This is an extra small copper wire. Okay. Okay, and I use the extra small because it's realistically going to be have the main purpose of kind of protecting the flash. And I just tie that into the side. Set that over. Then I'm going to take one strand of just standard pearl. Crystal flash. I'm gonna tie that into the hook shank. Set that back. Then here, me use one of my favorite uh, dubbings. This is buggy nymph dubbing. This is light hair's ear. Okay, it's what I use to tie all my hair's ears. Kind of the natural. Okay, and it's stiff. Used to be called Paxton's Buggy Nymph, if you've uh, been doing this a while. This is one of those where less is more. Apply an equal amount onto the thread. Okay, it's an Antron-based dubbing, so good for a lot of different uses. Just kind of palmer that up. Creating a taper, you know, kind of a hare's ear, bird's nest type of taper. Right about there. Now I'm going to take that crystal flash. 
polymer it around. Tie it off. Set that piece aside. I'm going to take that extra small wire and thread it around kind of through to protect that crystal flash. Trim the wire. Then I'm going to give it a little hot spot. And uh, for this fly, I use the Ice Dub Gold Brown, okay, from Hairline. It's kind of a good complementary color to this uh, color combination because it blends in, but at the same time gives a little bit of flash. You can always take, if you want, even throw a few loose fibers in there. Give it a little bit more color, if you want. And pin those back. Like that. Give it a little bit bigger. You can also pick them out if you don't like it. That's the beauty of any of this. Make it your own. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do, Take a India hen back. This is natural, so it's kind of a brown color. Okay, take the feather, just a standard soft tackle. Okay, again, pull it back a little bit. Always kind of measure the fibers, kind of make sure they're about the length you want it. Okay, then what I do is I pull the fibers off then kind of loosely palmer them so I can really dial in how that soft tackle is going to look. Then I'll go around. One thing I started doing this type of soft tackle because I would palmer it and with my best effort pick the right feather. and it would not look, it'd be too long, too short, and I just wouldn't be happy with the fly. So this way, by picking the fibers off and kind of setting them in there, I can kind of get the, the right look to what I want. Then you set aside earlier that little strand of crystal flash. I'm gonna take that, cut it in half, then give this fly two little crystal flash lags coming out the side. And this is obviously could be somewhat eccentric if you want to think of it that way, but it also adds a little bit of flash, a little something extra to the fly. Then take that same buggy nymph dubbing, turn that, Give it a little bit of a turn on the head, pin those front two legs back, and tie that fly off.
Then take those legs, once I'm done, trim them to the length of the tail. And then the front ones hold out a little past the bead. There you go. That's Hogan's Depth Charge Nymph. Now it's a great fly, even I, I am not what I would consider a proficient Euro nympher or a tight line nympher, and even I can catch fish on this fly. So tie up a few, mix and match the colors, change the hot spot out, maybe change the dubbing color, uh, leg color, whatever works for you and your fishery. <laughs>